Hello YouTube, welcome back to another Windows 8 tutorial. So this tutorial is going to be bringing you guys a, another start screen overview in regards to how to combine the start screen with the desktop interface. Now it's a little tricky because it doesn't necessarily stay on the desktop interface. It's more of a alteration in regards to where the start screen is, whether it be top, bottom, right, left, or anywhere that you want. Now. Currently, with my resolution, the whole start screen fills up my whole 920 by 1080p resolution screen. So chances are, I'm not going to see the taskbar, I'm not going to see the icon, I'm not going to see anything regards to the desktop. All I'm going to see is this whole start screen. Now, with the program, all I have to do is just, under basic, I can just push the full screen plus the taskbar, that way I will be able to see only the full screen and the taskbar, and then press overview, I'll be able to see it like that. Now if I wanted to go ahead and open an application, say like mail, chances are that whole taskbar is going to go away. And like I said, it does go away. So the program is cool, but to an extent, um, if you wanted to, you can go ahead and have it at the bottom or top. For instance, the top gives you more of a, a longer aspect to what you can do. Um, but if you have a bunch of applications, it's going to take you a while. Uh, for instance, if I wanted to, I can bring it all the way down to the half. So if we have 1080, we can go ahead and press uh, 540 and it'll go and be all the way at the middle and press overview and it'll be halfway giving me only two tile columns. So that's pretty cool. Um, it doesn't really interfere with my workspace while I'm on the desktop. So if you enjoy that, go ahead and do that. Um, if you want it on the side, you can. You can also save it if you wanted to. And going to basic, if we can, we can also have it to the right and going to the overview, you can have it like that. Um, that way it's not so irritating, you can still access it, but it doesn't interfere with your whole desktop interface by switching back and forth. Under settings, we can see that we have a bunch of options that we can select. The check marks means that it's going to happen or it's set to do whatever it's going to do. So if we wanted to have it start with Windows, we can. If we wanted the Windows notification, we can. So also we can have this automatically shut down as well. For instance, I think eight minutes perhaps. Uh, normal after having to leave start. I'm not quite sure exactly what that means. You might want to go and look further into it. Uh, see start screen software startup. So if you wanted to see the splash screen you can but you don't really necessarily have to So I would advise you to go ahead and uncheck that and that's more than it's right there for this application uh, I did a previous review on an application brought to you by win arrow uh, This program seems like it has a lot more options in regards to where the start screen can be anywhere that you want um, If you like this program go ahead and download it. I'll send you guys the link and if you guys want to stay tuned to my channel, go ahead and stay subscribed. My previous videos were with regards to Deskscapes 8. Go ahead and animate your desktop like you can see right now or what you've been wondering about this uh, the whole time. Or if you wanted to go ahead and run Metro apps in the desktop interface, you can. So for instance, if I want to go ahead and do that, I can have this Metro app run in the desktop interface. And that video is called Modern Mix for Windows 8. So if you guys like my channel, go ahead and stay subscribed, go ahead and thumbs up if you like this program. And until next time guys, see you later. Alright, bye.